around town this weekend is Emmy Fink. Hello, Hi. Emmy. Good to see you. Nice to see you guys. It probably feels like the end of the week with all that you've done it's this been, week. Yeah, it's been a week and a half already. <laughs> Extra hours. Exactly. My goodness. So, Actually, it's, it's fun, though, but lots going on this weekend. Yeah, let's start with a little theater. Oh, I like I like the accent. So the Bartell Theater is going to bring us the the show Infinite Mothers at the Avu Theater. That's going to be Friday and Saturday at 7.30. Infinite Infamous Mothers is a book by a Madison writer and a motivational speaker, and now it's ad adapted to take the stage. So the production will tell the remar remarkable story of six real and four fictionalized women of color who overcame tremendously difficult circumstances. And a Madison author. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I know. It. All those local, those good local A lot of, lot of talent here. Love it. All right. How about something for the Utes? I love this. Eight years old with amazing talent. Musicians ages 8 to 18 are going to come together for three concerts on Saturday at the Mills Concert Hall to showcase the talented ensembles of the Wisconsin Youth Symphony Orchestra. The Harp Ensemble and the Concert Orchestra will play at 1.30. The Percussion Ensemble and the Philharmonia Orchestra will take the stage at 4. And if you can't make these shows, don't worry. The Full Youth Symphony Orchestra will take place November 16th and 18th at the Middleton Performing Arts Center. Wiseau is amazing. Yeah, they really are. are really amazing. I'm ashamed to say I've never seen them, but I just think eight years old and you have that kind of talent performing with kids 10 years older yeah. than you is yeah. just truly amazing. Take yeah. your little girl sometime. She'll love it. It's oh, really inspiring. And she's really into music, so I should. <laughs> You're right. There is a, a very special program to commemorate a special day. That's right. Veterans Day is on Sunday, and Sunday is the 100th anniversary of the Armistice, which ended World War I, and the Madison Band Kissers are going to commemorate the anniversary with new music inspired by the War to End War. So this is going to be a rock and roll history show, a giant video wall displaying photos, film, and newspaper headlines Lines, and it's going to explore the conflict that has had effect and has had the effect on Wisconsinites then and now. So That's very a great, cool. great idea. Mm -hmm. Awesome that the Kissers are doing something like that to join music and history. 100th anniversary. Mm -hmm. All right, a couple of art event options for us. All weekend long. So if you have a, if you have some weekend open, here you go. Saturday only, you can check out the MFA, UW's Master of Fine Arts students, as they show off their many talents at their annual open art studio. They'll talk about a few of their pieces and workshops, and their art is available for purchase. It takes place in the Humanities Building and the Art Loft Studios from Saturday noon until 6, and then both Saturday and Sunday, the Winter Art Fair off the square. Monona Terrace will bring in 135 artists. They'll show and sell their arts. The 29th year for this. Sculptors, woodworkers, potters, jewelry makers. And there's even a kids 12 and under section where it will be all kids themed art, which is so cool. Very Great nice. place to really... St this. I am going to do it this year. I'm going to get my shopping done <laughs> early. I say the same thing every I really single am. year. I worked yeah. on my holiday card today. It's happening, baby. <laughs> That's good. You're ahead of the game. All right, I am now. Yeah. Have a great weekend. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Emmy. Good to see you. You and too. Get